It's mounted on a YRAC HW100. And I'm trying to focus here to get the best picture. There's a rat in, in about the middle. Now there's a circle around the rat. You can just see him. I'm using the range finder here, which is quite good. In fact, it's an excellent feature. It's within a meter. So I'm recocking the gun here. And then I'm settling it down. So this is resting on a rail. Just for holdover. For this test I'm using my own illuminator which is the T20 and it's sitting on the, the weaver rail at the top. I'm not actually using the built-in illuminator. It's another view. Again it's rubbish pile. You can see the coke can behind there. And there's rats running around. That's at its best focusing. Sometimes uh, there's too much reflection from the IR hitting the plastic. So I can't see, and this is at 26 metres, I can't see the eyes of the rats until they move. Because you've got so much IR light bouncing off the plastics and all the other rubbish materials. Range finder in operation again. It's excellent, quite good. Highly recommend this feature. Here's another pair of rats too, one in the middle there and one slightly below the reticle. The eyes are looking at me and um, they're not very big rats, so I'll do a hold over again. I forgot to didn't cock the rifle, so I'm all over the place. And then exit one rat. Now there's another one running around, so they're only small, hard to hit. I think it's about 27 metres. Now where the circle is, uh, is a rat and it's got a blinking eye and I didn't realise it was rat until it moved. So I'm not quite sure why the eye sort of blinks with the IR. I'm going to demonstrate the contrast and the brightness features of this particular scope. Now I'm going to zoom it in. Of course it's a digital zoom. So this is what you see. You cannot focus any tighter than that. It will not come any clearer. In fact you can see I'm zooming in and out a little bit with a focusing wheel. Trying to get the right picture. another rat coming out around about in the middle of the where the reticle is. It's about in the circle. Again, the range finder is brilliant. 27 metres, so it's only a very small target. You can see the flash of the range finder doing its job. Here's a rat that lived to see another day because right in front of me was a concrete wall and you can see his two eyes in his head as he moved. This is a big, biggish rat, 16 metres. I couldn't really shoot him because I was worried about the the pellet hitting the top of the wall. It was pretty close. Now here's a better view of a rat two eyes looking directly at the scope and again using the range finder you could see it scanning there and there goes another rat this is a bigger target now it's a pigeon again the range finder using it as nine meters A lot of pipes and things around, so I have to be really careful and accurate. The reticle's excellent on this particular device. It's very thin. And I just want to show you the sort of what you see with it at, at night. Some more pigeons hanging around, but I couldn't 
get a decent shot at them.